Ooh, I've been waiting to get down on some of this, guys. Hey, what's happening, guys? My name's Bread Hero Dan, and welcome to Blank. This is an RPG game that was inspired by stuff like Undertale, Earthbound, Off, you know, like those quirky RPG genres. This is one of them. I saw this and I was just like, whoa, oh, I need to play it because I have been in the mood, like I told you guys, to play some like RPG pixel stuff and this is gonna, oh, I can't wait. All right, we're gonna go new game. Oh, take a sip of my coffee real fast. Oh yeah. Sounds are good. Got the triple dots. Do I hit down? What do I hit? Where's the enter button? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so. Here you lie alone, exhausting whatever precious time you have left. Ooh, ooh, shit. The triple dots again. How pitiful. This world is dying, girl. Even now, the darkness eats away at the very fabric of creation. The so-called guardians you praise have neglected their duties and left you all to rot. Oh, yeah, dude, this is intense. Soon, all will be lost. Oh, but you sh... But should you act now and awaken, you may still have a chance to escape this evil. Who is telling me this? Arise, Veda. Oh! Leave this place. My name is Veda. Oh, yeah. Before the void consumes you. Okay, so everything is pitch black anyway. Holy shit, I have really scary eyes. Oh, is that me? Huh? Do you know what this looks like? Oh, dude. Ugh, my head. This looks like... Uh, hold on! <laughs> I should go outside and clear my thoughts. Yes, Veda, do it. I've burned enough daylight as is. This re strongly reminds me of the old Dragon Warrior Chapter 1 calling. The old Dragon Warrior monsters and the old Dragon Warrior on the Game Boy. That's what this looks like. Yes! God, dude, she is like super happy. Good afternoon, Veda. Uh, hi. How are you? Um, I'm great, Pearl. How are you? <laughs> I've felt better. Oh, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry. I had a really crazy dream. Oh, okay. Anyway, my daddy wanted me to let you know that the chieftain's been looking for you. He says that's important. Thanks, Cariella. I'd better go see him. Wait, Veda. Are you forgetting something? No, wait. What am I forgetting? Am I? You promised to play with me today, right? Oh, she looks so sad! You better say yes, Veda. You're not going to play with me today, are you? You're just gonna go on another one of those missions like oh, um, another one of his missions like always. Cariella, I'm the chieftain's daughter and the protector of this village. I don't have the time to be playing with you. Oh. Well, I'll just be going back home and play upstairs. Wow. By myself, as usual. Damn. Way to just guilt trip Veda. Poor girl. I'll make it up to her after I've seen the Chieftain. How are you gonna do that, huh? Are you gonna buy her a sword? What is this? Hold on, let's take a look at this. Veda's home. What are we- Oh, dude, this is so awesome! This really reminds me- Let's go talk to people. I'll have to go visit the city of New Lumenia someday. It sounds like such a wonderful place. It certainly does from what I've heard. But I also heard things may not be going so well there. Maybe it's better to just wait until things settle down first. Uh, she looked like she hated that news. Who's this guy? Or girl? I, I can't tell. Oh, I wish you could take my wife to New Lumenia. But we just don't have that kind of gold to make it work out. Okay. So, well, you never know. Maybe someday your hard work will pay off in the end. Just make sure you spend your gold wisely. That's the plan. Let's go upstairs. You got other people for me to talk to? No? Just a basic house. Dude, she really didn't like that news that it was like all crappy over there. I'm in Finima Village. Oh, yes. Hello, sir. Or madam, I don't know. It's amazing how big the Finimia Wilds are. Ooh, someday I'd love to pack my stuff and make a life out there. Don't you think it's a good idea, Veda? Well, the Thompsons seem to be living comfortably outside there. I like how everybody else has just like really crazy names, but the Thompsons, they're, they're fine. <laughs> but I'm not sure how they deal with the wild animals there. They eat them. Are they dangerous? Ah, I see. Well, maybe when I'm a little older, I'll consider going out there. Hi. Life is, isn't life just wonderful? We would all to Luminax and Sonovox, our benevolent guardians. May their divine law protect us all. Are you okay, Isaac? 
I'm feeling fantastic, Veda. Why do you ask? No reason. <laughs> you seem like a fanatic, dude. I, I didn't know him beforehand. Uh, let's keep going. Was this my house or was this somebody else's house? Hills residence. I like how there are some people with really, really just like different names and then you have the cookie cutter names like Thompson and Hills. I am Error! Your name is Error? I am Error! Okay. Uh, uh, that person is Error. Don't talk to them. Hello. Who are you? Hey there, Veda. Sorry about my brother downstairs. Bog was not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Why does he keep blurting out the word error? Honestly, I have no idea. My word of advice, just ignore anything he says. He won't know the difference. Okay. Well, hello. Oh, well, he's definitely error. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is something. This is, this has been scratching the itch that I have. Not now, I'm busy, but you're just walking down a straight line. Do I tell you how to do your job, Veda? <laughs> Your job is walking in a straight line. What? I'm not sure what's better. A sword to keep me armed or a potion to keep me healthy. What do you think, Veda? I really can't say. It depends on what you need the most. Well, I'm getting a little thirsty. Well, go get a potion. Is this the shop? Hello, Veda. Would you like to buy something? Excellent. Here's what's on offer. So I have no gold. A stone sword. Damn, that must be a heavy sword. Um, Let's take a look. All this cool stuff. There is a lot of cool stuff in this game. Uh, uh, oh, there are buffs. There are boons. There are all kinds of good stuff. Things. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I've heard rumors that things aren't going too well within New Lumenia. Well, at least we can rely on the village guard to protect us from any danger. We also have you and the chieftain, so I'd say we're fine. You flatter me, Sean. But I don't think I can really compare to the guards there. They do protect the Lightbringer, after all. Nonsense, you're the strongest fighter I know. I'm sure that whatever happens, you'll always be there to protect us. That is foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. Hello, ghostly uh, person. I used to live in the province of Sunuvia near the countryside, but I came here after... After? Never mind. It's not something I should talk about with a girl your age. Did your husband die? Okay, well, okay, so what the hell is this? Slifco? Is this the Celadon City Mart? What is this? Let's take a look. Uh, hello guys, how are you? Good afternoon, Veda. Are you here to see the Chieftain? Yes, I am. Okay, just make your way to the end of the room and go up the stairs until you reach the third and final floor. Thank you for the help. It's my pleasure. Uh, what about you? Oh, hey. You here to see Tanark? Yes, he said he needed to see me immediately. Ah. Well, just make your way to the end of this room and go up the stairs till you reach the third floor. Thanks. Whatever. <laughs> wow. The, the kind, they're kind here, huh? I love coming here in the afternoon. There's always something new and exciting to talk about. Like how some of our villagers were attacked out in the wilds. Um, way to be a, a buzzkill, Veda. Damn. I really like how the main character talks back in this, too. It's something you didn't really see back in the day. The Chieftain's just upstairs, Veda. Let me know how he's feeling when you get the chance. All right, will do. Let's go see the Chieftain. Let's see, what are these? These mirrors? No, they're just, I guess they're just like pictures. Or they look like candle holders or something. Hello, Chieftain. How are you? You look fine. Holy shit, he looks like a black mage. Welcome, Veda. I've been expecting you. Oh, have you, huh? You wanted to see me, Chieftain. Come now, there's no need for formalities. Oh, you're the chief. You're. What do you mean there's no need for formalities? We're the only ones here. All right, well, what is it that you need of me, father? I'm glad you asked. You knew I was gonna ask you, come here. I've been getting reports from the guards that some of the villagers have been attacked just outside the village. But what's interesting is that neither the victims nor the guards could recall what the assailants looked like. Maybe it's just a pack of hungry jackalites. 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 Damn. It'd certainly be hard to see them in the middle of the night. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Either way, I'd like you to go out and investigate the matter. Talk to the lieutenant at the barracks. He'll make the arrangements for getting you prepared to enter the wilds. I will go kick the shit out of the wilds. Of course, father. Cool. All right. Wait. I almost forgot there's something I wanted to give you first before you left. 
You gonna hook me up with some spiffy armor or something, huh? Huh, Dad? Or Mom? Can't remember. <laughs> Here you go. You're seeing the Ring of Solitude. What is this? Take a step back and try it on. I step. Whoa! There's a ghost! What is this thing? Its name is Desolune, the Spirit of Solitude. It'll help you with this task and, more importantly, keep you safe. You look really, really sad. It looks so sad. Don't concern yourself about it, Veda. Call Desolune back into the ring. Alright, Desolune, return. I feel bad. I feel like I've enslaved something that doesn't want to be enslaved. Now with that spirit by your side, hopefully you won't have to worry about any unpleasant surprises in the future. Thank you, Father. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, Veda. May the guardians protect you. Yeah, thanks. Dude, okay, so the chieftain totally looks evil, right? Like, he looks super creepy and super scary. And I'm over here just, just trudging along. And I have this ghost now. I have this ghost. I don't want... Uh... Oh, I didn't, I didn't talk to you guys. I don't want... This. So you're being sent out to investigate the attacks out in the wilds. Well, good luck there, Veda. We need all the help we can get. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. So wait, these guys say different things once I get a job? You have to see Lu the Lieutenant Veda? You'll find him at the barracks. Just head down south from here and you'll find the building. What? Okay, so hold on. I was supposed to talk to this person when I came back down. That's what they said, right? So, how's the Chieftain feeling? He's alright, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> I love how these people are marvelous conversationists. Oh, man. Alright, so we're gonna leave. I gotta go see somebody at the barracks. I don't know who. Um, they said it was south, right? Who are you guys? Oh, wait, no. What is this? Hold on. Cannot read the sign from this angle. Smart ass. Marshall residence. <laughs> Fenema Barracks. Hello! I've been stationed here to keep watch over the barracks, but so far nothing interesting has popped up. Some days I ask myself why this village even needs a local guard. Wouldn't we be better off defending some of the larger settlements? I'm not sure if you recall this or not, but Fenema is not exactly in good standing with some of the other settlements. What? Why? Well, the chieftain's not exactly the most popular person around these parts. In fact, some of his methods are questionable. I knew it. Oh. Oh, we're already getting some some plot backstory. I can't stand all this waiting around. I need a real fight to test my metal. Why not just go down to the wilds then? I don't really like the idea of fighting a jackalite. People say their claws can cut through even the strongest of metals. What a wuss! What do you want to pick on, kids? Veda, have you seen my sword anywhere? I haven't, no. But I'll let you know if I find it. Thanks. You're a real lifesaver. Uh, no, I think the sword is the lifesaver. And you need it. If you want to see the lieutenant, he's just upstairs. All right, thanks. Don't mention it, Veda. Don't mind young Silas over there, Veda. He's new to the job and hasn't gotten the chance to see any real action yet. Maybe he'll get the opportunity later today. Hopefully. So you're just going to send that dude who's never fought a jackalite out by himself? We are the Finiman... Finiman... Oh, English. Not English. I don't know what the hell language this is. We pledge our allegiance to the Guardians, the Chieftain of the village of Fenema. There's nothing that we can't handle. Okay. I like how... <laughs> Hello, Veda! Oh, wow, you're all red. What can I do for you? My father said that you'd be able to help me out with the investigation with investigating the recent attacks on the people outside of the village. Ah, uh, yes. He mentioned that before you arrived. I do have a set of armor and a weapon in that chest over there that'll help you... that'll help keep you safe while venturing through the wilds. But before that, I need you to first do something for me real quick. Are you willing to help me out? Sure thing. What's up? Well, I need to make sure the victims involved are all right, mainly because I'm worried that there may be future complications. Like what? Like the mysterious wounds that appeared on their bodies. The victims' injuries were sharp and deep. And from my experience, none of the native creatures in the wilds are capable of dishing out that kind of physical damage. I get the feeling they were dealing with something dangerous here. So that's why I want to make sure the victims are okay. Can you do that for me, Veda? I that I can. So, who are the victims in question? Let's see here. First off, we have a few of our guards. They should still be out on patrol. Then we have Sean Marshall, Craig Anderson, Sam Hills, and finally, David Kien. 
and his daughter, Cariella. I already talked to Cariella. Cariella, she was attacked too? Indeed. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Is there anyone else? Well, there is Friedrich Thompson, but as you know, already know, he and his wife live out in the Fenima Wilds. Alright, I'll make sure to check up on them when I head out there next. Thank you, Veda. Come back to me after you're done. Okay, so now we gotta go check on these people. I gotta go talk to everybody I already talked to. Damn! Let me go find them real fast. Hi, Sean. I'm looking into the recent attacks and heard from the lieutenant that you were a victim. So, is there anything you can tell me about the incident that might help me with the investigation? Well, I didn't manage to get a look at the one responsible, but I can say for certain that it packed a mean punch. How so? Well, whatever it was, it had claws as sharp as a razor. At first, I thought it was just a hungry jackalite, but... But... It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Could we perhaps save our talk for another day? I'm starting to feel a little... Worn out. There's mysterious things happening! Oh! Sure thing. Thanks. Alright, so Sean couldn't... Couldn't dish out the evidence. That's the McLaughlin residence. Excuse me, Miss McLaughlin! I was... No! But it's important. I was wondering. I said no. Okay. <laughs> Shut down. Damn. Fine. I'll leave. Jeez. Let's talk to the hills. I am error. Oh, well, that's right. Hold on. I thought the hills were attacked too, weren't they? Hi again, Veda. Is there something you need? Just a few questions, Sam. The lieutenants asked me to check up on all of the victims of the recent attacks. That includes you, apparently. So, how are you feeling? Well... I definitely feel much better than I did a few days ago, but honestly, the only painful wound I got was the scratch on my back. Can you identify the assailant? Sorry, but I had my back turned at the time. I wish there was more I could tell you, but that's all I really remember. I see. Well, I hope you don't find any more trouble, Sam. It'd be a real shame to see Bagu alone without his brother to protect him. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the concern, Veda. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, alright? Okay, take care, Sam. You too, Veda. Dude, every time I talk to one of the victims, that flash happens. Well, except for that one lady who just yelled at me. Um, hold on. Were you a victim? Hi, I was wondering. I'm busy. Walking in a straight line? Ass! Hi, Isaac. Hey, Veda. What's up? Look, I'm sorry about teasing you before, but I'm currently in the middle of an investigation on the recent attacks. Is there anything you know that could help me out? Not that I recall, no. All I can say is how painful Sean Marshall's wound looked. It certainly looked like he was tanking it out. Wow. Hey. Anyway, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Hey, Veda, what's up? Not much. I'm currently looking into the recent attacks on some of the villagers and was wondering if you could help me. Well, there's not much I can tell. All I know is that the Kian family were hit pretty hard. Oh, well, thanks for the help. No problem. I hope the Kian family moved Move on from that hor horrible incident. Dude, I am so engrossed in this. Uh, reading is hard. What? Dude, what is going on here? Mr. Anderson, I was wondering if... Oh. Sorry to bother you. Damn. Damn. Some of them just shut me down immediately. Others, every other one that actually starts to talk to me has that flash happen and then they feel ill. Move along. Is that the same person who's just been circling the village? What a jackass. Okay, whose house is this? What is this? Hold on, hold on. Duh, that's where we gotta go. Okay. Let's chat. Just, uh, just the ellipses? Damn. Oh, dude, this was bad then. Good to see you again, Veda. You here to see Cariella. Sort of. I'm actually here to see you as well. I heard from the lieutenant that the both of you were attacked out in the wilds. He did, did he? Well, what do you want to know? I just wanted to see if there was anything you could tell me about Veda. I'd feel much more comfortable if we didn't talk about that. I don't think any of us want to remember. Especially him. What? Nothing. Could we just leave that until another time? I think my family and I need a little rest. Okay, sure. Whatever you need. See? I told you guys. I told you guys. Let's talk to Cariella. Maybe she has something to say. Cariella, are you feeling okay? I heard about what happened to you and your father, and I came to see if you were alright. If you had told me, I... Look, I'm really sorry we never got the chance to play. But you must understand, I'm the chieftain's daughter. I can't devote your time to trivial matters. Yes, I know. Obviously, 
you have more important things to do with your life. Exactly, so that's why... Exactly! You know, I thought you, of all people, would be a bit more understanding in matters like this. But are you seriously saying that the time we spent together was trivial? That our friendship right now is too intrusive? Oh, Veda, you done, you done goofed! No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> it's just that playing games with you takes too much of my time, and so there's my answer. I thought we were friends. Cariella, I didn't mean... Leave me alone, Veda. Cariella, please. I said go away! I just got a weird flash, too. Did you see that? Oh, dude, there's got to be something happening with these... These attacks in the wilds. Do I go? Okay. Should have just played with her. Should have just played with her, Veda. You done goofed. Okay, so I think I talked to everybody, right? No, they said a couple guards were attacked. With is there something I can help you with? Yes, I'm looking at the recent attacks. Villagers. Well, I'm not certain if you're aware, but Dan over here was attacked too. You should ask him about it. Oh well, Dan, talk to me, buddy. All right, never mind. Uh, he didn't want to say anything. Cool. Let's go talk to the lieutenant and see if I have to talk to anybody else. Because I think I've talked to everybody. Let me double check. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Give me that, that sword and shield. Ah, you're back. How are the victims feeling? A little strange. But I think it's just a phase that'll pass sooner or later. Aside from that, nothing too serious. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for this. It means a lot to me and your father. I think my father would be happier if I actually went to the wilds to see if I could find anything. Oh, right. My apologies. I completely forgot about that. Yes. I suppose it's time to let you go and do your own thing. But the creatures out in the wilds are known to be a little dangerous if confronted. So maybe you should brush up on your fighting skills first. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Let's learn how to fight, guys! Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I haven't had a good spar with anyone in a while. Excellent. Let's begin. I'm gonna whoop that ass, Lieutenant. <laughs> this looks amazing. Great work, Vida. I think you got the hang of things. Let's end things off here. Oh, man. Okay, so battling is very basic RPG-style battling. Whew! That was intense. I have to give you credit, Veda. You sure know how to fight. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, about that armor. Oh, of course. Sorry. Just give me a moment to gather your gear. You gonna hook me up? I got the hook up. Look at that. The chest is open. Here you go. You received a stone sword, wooden shield, leather helm, leather armor, and an amulet of beginner's luck. <laughs> I like how that's an amulet. Oh, oh and you'll also want to have this. You received a letter of approval. Now I can probably get through the gate that I couldn't get through before. This will get you past the guards protecting the village entrance. It's not as if they'll disobey orders from their superior officer. Thank you again, Lieutenant. It's my pleasure. Take care of yourself out there, Veda. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, actually, guys. I'm going to go get right in front of them. Do I want to leave the episode here? I want to talk to him first. I'm going to go see the wilds real fast. Ow! Um, uh, I just want to know more. I have a letter of approval signed by the lieutenant. May I pass? Of course, Veda. You may proceed. Fuck out of the way, stooges. Okay. Yes. That's what this looks like. Oh, man. It reminds me so much of Dragon Warrior and Dragon Warrior Monsters. Oh, dude. I cannot wait to play more of this. The, the characters, the art style, everything is just so... Endearing. It's so cool. It is quirky. Like Earthbound, Off, Undertale, things like that. It, it does have its own unique RPG flair. But anyway, thanks a ton, guys, for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, boom! Like it. Leave a comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. But don't think that this is goodbye, because I'll catch you guys in the next batch of videos. Doing that at the moment. What else do we have? Oh, look, an artifact. Hold on, hold on. Maybe. Now, just mixed seeds? What the hell are seeds doing out here in the desert, huh? I don't get that. What is this? What is this? Do I dig right here? No? I don't know what that is. This is weird. 